Welcome to This Week in Astrology. This is episode number 649 for May 1 through 15, 2024. A Taurus new moon featuring a quintuple conjunction and Pluto turning retrograde headlined the first half of May. We also have three potent Pluto aspects, two electrifying Uranus connections, and more. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm your host, Benjamin Bernstein. I record these forecasts as an audio podcast and a video, so take your pick. The video version includes detailed chart graphics, which you can also see in my written forecasts at astroshaman.com. Be sure to subscribe to This Week in Astrology in your preferred app, and if you haven't already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for two chances to win a free Astrology Plus session with me each month. As of May 1st, the moon is waning, and we have one continuing aspect pattern. For details on all that, see the show notes. May 11, 12, and 13, this year's absolute best timing for you to start something new? Astrology says yes. If you're starting something new and it's important, you naturally want to give yourself the best odds of success. According to astrology, you can stack the deck dramatically in your favor if you launch your new initiatives within specific time frames on May 11, 12, or 13. These dates could vary by one day outside of the United States. The astrological magic of these time frames can bestow extraordinary blessings on your new ventures. The clock is ticking. Click the link in the show notes now to learn more. Now, the forecast. Wednesday, May 1st, is anything out of sorts in your relationships, creativity, or finances? A Venus-Pluto square, Venus, two degrees Taurus, Pluto, two degrees Aquarius, could bring it to light so you can do appropriate repair or release. But this intense aspect also amplifies your opportunities for financial abundance, soul-blended lovemaking, and supercharged creativity. On Thursday, May 2nd, Pluto turns retrograde at 1.47 p.m. EDT. That's at 2 degrees Aquarius. The Lord of the Underworld will turn direct again over five months from now on October 11th. That'll be at 29.5 degrees Capricorn. Pluto retrograde is a good time to reflect on this outer planet's major themes. Are you standing in your power or letting others control you? Are you content with the amount of wealth, financial or otherwise, in your life? Are you engaging in occult practices in a way that benefits everyone affected? Are you enjoying the ecstasy of sacred sex? As old traumas get triggered, are you skillfully healing them? By the way, my free healing invocation can help you do this with surprising ease and speed. Click the link in the show notes or check out astroshaman.com slash invocations. On Friday, May 3rd, bold action is potently and harmoniously energized by a Mars-Pluto sextile. This supportive aspect also supports your activities as a warrior, entrepreneur, sexual being, and initiator. Mars' placement in Aries, a sign he rules, makes the sextile doubly potent. On Monday, May 6th, you can expect some challenge and intensity with Saturn semi-square Pluto. If difficulties arise, what release or transformation would help resolve them? If you feel negative emotions, you might be tempted to squash them back down, but doing this just guarantees they'll come back again later. Would it be better to use an effective trauma healing technique to heal your emotional pain once and for all? This semi-square also has abundant upside potential. Saturn's placement in Pisces empowers law of attraction manifestation and the life-transforming benefits of embodied awakening. This aspect also supports the conscious dissolution of whatever does not belong in your life anymore. Also, on Monday, May 6th, you can enthusiastically soak up wisdom from a knowledgeable teacher or share your own insights with Mercury conjunct Chiron. If healing, a key Chiron theme is on the syllabus, so much the better. On Tuesday, May 7th, a new moon lines up at 11.22 p.m. EDT at 18 degrees Taurus. Any Taurus new moon is ideal for new beginnings or fresh energy to increase your income or physical resources. How can you stabilize or augment your material foundations and security? This Taurus energy also invites you to immerse yourself in nature and revel in the pleasures of your five senses. Sing and make music. And while Taurus loves consistent accomplishment, it needs to balance all that doing with just being. Aspects. This new moon is part of a quintuple conjunction in Taurus. 
Uranus and Jupiter lead the sun and moon, while Venus follows them. The strongest conjunction is with Uranus, about five degrees from the luminaries. Uranus invites you to shake up Taurus's love of repetition with some paradigm-shifting variety. Are you keeping your uniqueness under wraps to avoid criticism, or are you flying your freak flag? Are you following someone else's rules, or taking action on your inner flashes of insight? Is your daily grind wearing you down, or are you joyfully serving others with your unique talents and abilities? Jupiter is about eight degrees past the sun and moon. He invites you to experience more joy, expansion, and enthusiasm. Are you inspired to dive into advanced learning that will enrich your life? Or do you have wisdom and insights to share with others? Would this be a good time to broaden yourself with immersion into other countries or cultures? The final member of this quintuple conjunction is Venus, dignified in Taurus. This powerful placement, along with her proximity to the sun and moon, can empower your relationships, creativity, and finances. The luminaries also enjoy a tight sextile with Saturn in Pisces. This can help you use the law of attraction more powerfully and maintain embodied awakening more easily. Saturn's energy can also help you be more mature, responsible, and disciplined. This can help you manage your time well as you skillfully strategize and implement your plans. Finally, a trine with the Grain Goddess series lets you do emotional healing processes more smoothly and boost your abundance more easily. This new moon Sabian symbol is a new continent is rising out of the ocean. Is it time for you to create something new and substantial? On Friday, May 10th, you can get fired up about taking immediate action on your intuitive hits with Mars semi-square Uranus. That's Mars, 8 degrees Aries, and Uranus is at 23 degrees Taurus. This minor hard aspect can also pump up your activities as a warrior, pioneer, sexual being, or entrepreneur. On Monday, May 13, you can shine forth more easily as your unique human self with the Sun conjunct Uranus at 23 Taurus. With both planets in Taurus, you can also serve more productively with your special talents you most love to use. And don't forget to follow your intuitive hits. Also, here's my book's most recent Amazon review. It's titled, Very Helpful in My Spiritual Practice. Quote, I came across this book seemingly by accident and decided to purchase it just in case it would be helpful. Well, it is. The invocations in this book are so simple to use, and yet they work. I recommend this book to spiritual seekers, end quote. That is a five-star review from Sammy Justison. Thank you, Sammy. My book's 15-word title is Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. If you'd like to listen, my audiobook is free if you're not yet an Audible member. Instant Divine Assistance is also available as an ebook, paperback, and hardcover. Click the link in the show notes to check it out on Audible or Amazon or read it in Kindle Unlimited. My online membership called Awakening Plus can help you awaken, heal, and thrive easily, quickly, and affordably. Here's a quick quote from one of our members, quote, Awakening Plus has absolutely changed my life. It has helped me get to a stage of awakening I had hoped for since I started my spiritual path over 20 years ago. It also has helped manage my chronic back pain to a tolerable level and has stabilized me as a person, end quote. Click the link in the show notes to learn more about Awakening Plus or go to awakeningplus.com. That's awakening, P-L-U-S dot com. I also host another podcast called Awaken, Heal, and Thrive. Learn fast and easy tools for awakening, healing, and more. Gain wisdom from enlightening guests and enjoy mind-bending ayahuasca stories. I drop two new episodes each month. Check out the latest called Should Your Ego Be Happily Housebroken? Click the link in the show notes or search for Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get audio or video podcasts. Thank you for being here. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein with astroshaman.com. I can serve you with astrology readings, shamanic healing, and one-of-a-kind life coaching. All my one-on-one -on -one services are equally effective in person or long distance. And as I mentioned, I run the Awakening Plus online membership for spiritual support. You can learn all about this and more at astroshaman.com. Please reach out if you have any questions. My email is benjamin at astroshaman.com and my number for voice and text is 
888-789-9852. I'd love to connect with you. We are wrapping up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this episode so others who also love astrology and spirituality can find it. And be sure to check out my Instant Divine Assistance book and audiobook and my Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings as the stars light your way.